Mr. David Head, hey, pay attention. Got another video for you today. Are you paying attention? Stop what you're doing. Pay attention. To another level. Today's video, let the man search you. Let him search you. If you say you got money on him, yo, give it up. Let him take it out of your pocket. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You're being robbed. Somebody sticks a gun in your face. Yo, look, give yo, me your money. Yo, man, your pockets, man. Hurry up, hurry up. Whoa, 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 whoa. First thing you do is you put your hands up in a non-threatening manner. And you tell him, the money's in my pocket. Yo, dude, the money's in my pocket. So now, of course, he's going to tap your pockets to search to see where your wallet is. He'll feel the wallet. Now he's going to go into your pocket. As soon as he takes that out of your pocket, trust me, no one is going to take it out of your... You can even practice this. Kenny, does it feel comfortable for you to take that thing out of my pocket, put it in your pocket, and never know what you have? No, because I'm robbing her. I need to know what my prize is. You want to see I how much see you got? It. Right. So this is a cell phone that's just wrapped in the red so you can easily see it. Watch. Once again, he goes no. in your pocket. Look at my hands. Look at my hands. He doesn't care where my hands are. My hands are here. And they're not yo, 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 take it, take it, take it. Keep telling him, take it. Yo, it's all yours. Take it, man. Just take, just take, it, and, take it and go away. There's, but you got to look at him. You got to look at him. You got to sell it. Yo, 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 take it, take it. Take it in. The second he pulls it out of your pocket and you see his eyes change, shift the weapon. Shift the weapon. Take yourself off the line of fire, then attack, hold on to the hand, control the floating hand. That hand is on the outside, that hand has the wallet, you're controlling the arm in case he tries to get you back into the line of fire. You use the high-low concept, keep working low, working high, and then you break the arm down. Keep working him until you get him to the ground. Hold on to that arm. Hold on to that arm until grab his garment, grab his clothes. He's not going to drop that immediately and hit you. After a few seconds, he will drop that and then try to hit you. But he won't do it immediately. As soon as he feels this, the first instant is when he pulls it out of the pocket and the weapon is in your face and he looks at it, first thing is he's thinking, boom, weapon, whack, groin, move, shot, take the leg out, shot the face. I'm latching onto this hand. Now I put all my weight on it, man goes to the ground. Guys. If he doesn't have a weapon, and he's just intimidating you, yo, holding what, you, yo, push man, you, what, yo, 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 what, 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 once what, again, what? search my pocket, you tell him, watch, he's going to tap that side, and he's going to do this, that's where you attack, the second his hand is inverted in your pocket, grab this arm, because once I grab this arm, he's going to, his first thing is he wants this arm back. He's not going to, when I grab this arm, punch with that arm. He's not going to punch with that arm. That don't feel comfortable. That's not human nature. It's like when a little dog or a little, little dog or a cat goes like this to you, the first thing you do is, hey! If something tries to bite you, you just, hey! You pull back. You don't, you see what it is. You know what it is. It could be a little dog or a little cat. Little baby dog or cat. If it goes like this, your first thing is, hey, hey, hey. If it's a big dog where you think he's a little friendly and he goes towards your hand, you go, hey, hey, hey. You pull back. That's in us. So when somebody's touching your hand, that's first movement is this. That's in you. It's an automatic reflex. So you got to understand that that will give you that, will give you that. And then you could just come over the top, interrupt the vision, work the vision. It's in the pocket. You got to sell it. Yo, dude, it's in the pocket. Yeah, you what? want it, it's in the pocket. What? Here's something else. See how my hands are here? All I got to do is that. 
He doesn't care how high my hands are. When somebody sticks a gun or a knife in your face and says, give me the money, give me the money. you don't no. put your hands like this. Who the hell gets a gun pointed in their face and puts their hands like this? You get a gun pointed in your face. No. Oh, 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 yo, 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 calm down, calm down. Anything you want. Yo, yo, guy, calm down. Anything you want, take it. Look. Yo, dude, Look. dude, money's in the pocket. He'll never, you could show him. You could go like this. The money's in the pocket. The money's in the pocket. He's not going to shoot you. You're telling him what he wants to hear. Like this. Yo, the money's Look. in the pocket. Money's in the pocket. As soon as he goes, whoa, you attack. See, the technique can be anything. It's the entry point. How do I get in to do whatever technique that I practice? How do I get the end? I got to sell it. The money's in the pocket. Take it, man. The money's in the pocket. Now, if you were smart, because you know most people and most criminals are left right-handed, most people are right-handed. So now, instead of putting your money where it's convenient for you, in your right pocket, put the money in your left pocket. Why? Because if he's right-handed, the gun's going to be in his right hand. Right? Your, your, your power weapon. Mm -hmm. So now when you put it in my face, you're going to have to search with your left hand. So now you're searching this side, and then you're going to go this side with your left hand. So now when I did this, and the weapon is across, look at what I'm getting. Because I put the money in my left side, which makes you do something you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay? Makes you do something you don't want to do. You don't want to do that. I need that hand crossed. That's where I go when the hand crosses. Boom. That's when I go. The hand crosses. I got two points of gold. Pull out the money. Now look at it. You're pulling it out. See what you're doing? You're pulling out the money cross hand mm -hmm. and you're looking at it. Does that feel comfortable? No. 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 So I could do it here as soon as the hand cross. Or I could do it, pull the money out. Now you're still trying to keep me in the line of fire. Pull the money out. As soon as I see the eyes like that. Mm. The weapon goes back into his face. And it doesn't matter what size weapon it is. It could be a little snub nose. Why? The second I do that, I hit, I hit the palm. Boom, into his face. The weapon goes back in his face. So the weapon don't matter. I'm not trying to do a disarm when the weapon is right in front of my face. The weapon's in my face. I'm not trying to do a disarm and be better than him, and might blow my own goddamn head off. But I tell you what, if I do that, the weapon's gonna go off over there. If I do this, the weapon's gonna go off up there. Guys, I'm not playing the inches game. Once again, what kind of groin do you have to have to look a stone cold killer in the face putting a gun in your face, searching your pockets, and you're going to disarm him. I'm not saying it don't work. I'm saying how much training, how much belief, how much skill, how much confidence do you have to have to do that versus smack. And I got the whole arm to smack and then move to the opposite side of the weapon. Guys, the choice is yours. I can show you all kind of fancy endings and all kind of fancy technique, but if you don't know how to get started right, the endings don't matter. I'm just blowing smoke up your behind. So understand the message. Think. Body mechanics. Weapon, no weapon. Let the man take it out, no weapon. Let the man search you. Take it, take it. Boom. Once his hands are there, once his hands cross, boom. There's your movement. So I hope you learned something. Once again, 
Kenny, tell him what to do. Guys, thank you very much, first and foremost, for all your support, guys. Please leave a comment, guys. Let us know how you like this video, if it provided value for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, guys, and share, guys. Please share. We want to get the shares up, guys. Thank you very much again. Peace. To another level. Professor David here. I have a special offer for all of you guys who's been following us over the past year and a half. I want to say thank you. I put together a special offer. We've been getting a lot of emails and DMs requesting how can I train with you. I put together something special for everyone who's interested in training with me directly. I now have an offer for everyone who's interested who want to train with me directly. You hear me talking about my book. I always do all the work out of my book. All the videos you see comes out of the book. All of the information. I am now teaching and offering this system to you from A to Z. Everything out of the book, I'm teaching it. If you are interested in something like that, I'm doing it starting the beginning of 2024. Contact me. To another level.